So I'm planning another bike restoration. And for this restoration, a few of the parts that I plan on using also need some restoration. This beautiful Italian saddle has seen better days. It's a Salitalia Nitrox saddle that I actually purchased myself for a bike back in the late 90s. It's seen better days. I really like the size and fit of the Nitrox. It's a little smaller than the Flight, and I'm not a big guy. And you can tell by the numbers, the indicators here, that this bike was made in May of 1998. Probably just a bit before I bought it. It's been a good saddle for me. It's time to restore it for this next build. With the color scheme I'm planning on this new bike build, I wanted something different than black for the bike seat. Also, like you could see, this saddle needed some restorations. And before I attached the new leather I have on it, leather that I actually picked up at the thrift store, I think it's like car upholstery leather that I got somewhere. I need to clean it up and get all this old yucky glue and dirt off the bottom of the saddle so that when I apply the adhesive, I can get it to attach really well to the, the plastic of the seat. I'm trying out some of this Gorilla Glue on this one, both the spray adhesive and the super glue. I'll leave links to it in the description below. It worked out great on both. I wonder if this leather was Italian also. Probably not, I don't know, but it stuck on there really well with this Gorilla Glue. I was quite happy. Now, I've never done a restoration of a bike seat like this before. And because of that, I wasn't sure it, the adhesive, the spray adhesive would be strong enough to really hold the edges. So I bought some Gorilla Glue that's supposed to be good also for leather and plastics. And doing the edges here, I'm hoping that this will hold on the seat well enough. I had taken staples out before, but I wasn't going to be stapling this one. Again, I've never really done this before. And I'm hoping that this method works. I actually plan on doing a few other saddles or seats in the future and this is really my first attempt. So this has been a learning experience, if anything. But that all said, I'm really quite happy with the result. This is what it looked like before. And I'll be showing you here in a bit what it looked like after. And that'll wrap up this video. So. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. 
and I will see you on the next video. Ciao. Also, be sure to tune into the next videos where I'll actually finish the restoration of the bike that this saddle is going to go on. There'll be lots more to come. Thanks for your support.